Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to install a set of tritium night sights on a Caltech PF9. Um, this is the MK9 complete set, ready to go. As you can see they're a little bit longer than the original. Um, made to house the tritium and they don't seem to be any taller makes it great if you have an existing holster anything like that. Now the back is going to be real easy to install I'm going to remove the back first and I'll leave that off until I get the front on and it just comes off with a regular Allen wrench the appropriate size but I'm going to leave it out of my way while I do the front that part out. What I'll we'll do is I'm going to put it up here and with a punch see where the tabs come through and where they've been melted. Just going to gently tap them down and knock it out. Make sure my holes are clear. And that's really all there is to it. Now the new one will go in place. Put the tabs through. Push it down. And you may want to make sure that it sits all the way down. If not, sometimes a little bit of glue comes out when they put the tritium in them. Holds it up and you can get a razor knife and just clean that out. Now I know it's hard to see, but you got those two little tits that come down through. And we're going to heat those up with a soldering iron and melt them over. I've had this thing plugged in for a little bit, so it's good. One thing I do notice you want to do is make sure you keep pressure on this while you're heating up those tabs and bending them over. Uh, if you don't, it kind of wants to back out. So I'm just going to go in here and melt these tabs down. And you want to kind of get them smooth because there is no real extra clearance in there. And if you don't have a solder and iron, uh, I've heard of people using a uh, a uh, screwdriver and heating it up and being able to do it. Now I'm going to check and make sure it's sit down all the way. If not, I can reapply pressure and put it on there. So there's my front night sight and it is installed. Um, just going to get in here and make sure I don't have anything to interfere with the barrel. Just clean up the little crumbs. And that's it for the front. The rear is just as easy. We're going to put it on there. If you want, you have the choice of putting a little drop of Loctite. Um, there's some already on here and we're going to have to play with it uh, to get it back inside again. You have your left to right adjustment. I'm just going to kind of eye it up in the center right now the best I can. And then you're pretty much good to go. Tighten it up, not too tight. Of course, everything's still plastic, just like before. There you have it. Now you got your uh, left to right adjustments. You can fine tune this if, for any reason, you need to uh, change as far as elevation. Um, you can always slightly sand it down with a piece of uh, uh, sandpaper on the bottom of this, or if for some reason you need to raise the sight up to try to shoot down a little lower. Um, Caltech sells a, a kit just for exactly that, but this is a uh, exact replacement from before, so it should shoot uh, no different than what you had before. That's it. There's your night sights, uh, tritium night sights, MK9s for the Caltech PF9. Thanks for watching.